How about if I turn that one off? Is that any better? Is that any better? Or is that just my imagination? I don't know. I don't understand why the fuck I'm silent. I'm going to have to get a mic, which pisses me off because I don't think I have any more USB ports. Uh, la, 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 la. I wonder if it's a fan. How about if I turn off the fan, guys? Is that going to work? 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 Roger, roger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I still silent? Am I still silent? What the fuck is going on? Yes, I swore again. Uh, it's a miracle. Wait, what? You can hear me now? Or if, I wonder if it was a fan. If it was a fan, it's going to really piss me off if it's a fan. Bingo, he says. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the fan real quick. Tell me if that makes a difference. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. Can you hear me or no? No, no, no. You're good. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. If I turn on the fan, am I good? Can you still hear me? Or is the fan making too much noise? Like I said, guys, it's 96 degrees in this shed right now. So, uh, gonna just get this craft on, guys. Just continue doing my lines here. Get my terrain or get my things done. I got uh, pretty much everything I need, I think. I don't think I'll have to go off and get any weird objects or anything else I did get my new stand for my satellite so that's kind of what I've been working on uh, besides planting more flowers and crap that they just keep bringing home to me to go oh can you put this somewhere can you put this somewhere and I have nowhere to put these plants but I'm figuring it out a little at a time but it's driving me bonkers 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 guys bonkers but I'm just gonna finish Doing my uh, cabinets here, guys. It's good to hear from you guys. I'm sure it's good to hear from me now that you guys can hear me. Good. Because, like I said, it's 96 degrees in here, Brian. And I just don't like it. I don't like it. I think that's one thing that's going to suck about the summertime is it's always going to be hot in this shed. I ain't going to pay. I ain't going to put an AC unit in here because that's just that's just crazy. And uh, my little backup battery, uh, I don't think it'd handle it. Well, I know it couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's in the 80s here too, but in the shed it's a nice 96 degrees. So, uh, what is everybody up to today? I think uh, Brother Brian normally has today off. Uh, terrain, it's always good to see you again. You get anywhere on videos for your, uh, um, for all the stuff you got? You did your unboxing videos yet? Okay, that's two out of I don't know how many I need. Ugh. Well, technically they're not even done yet. I still got extra detail to do, but the front cover's done. Ugh.
So I want to get these cabinets done real quick. Kind of tack them on, get them glued, get the hinges on. I'll show you guys how I did that. Even though if anybody saw my uh, pictures on my crafting channel through Facebook, uh, I explained kind of, well, I didn't really explain how I did it. I just explained what I used for the hinges and the door handles. No video shot yet. Just about done organizing after installing the new workbench. Yes, the new workbench. I did see that video that you did. I know you still had more to do last time I knew. Yeah, I, mean, I could do this out in the garage and it might be a better bet, but uh, the tables don't sit as high as this one. And uh, the garage right now <laughs> is a freaking disaster. The last thing I want to do is attempt to uh, do some crafting out in a uh, garage that I probably end up getting myself killed in trying to move around in. Probably get it cooler in there. I was thinking about taking one of my uh, rotating fans, the ones on a stand, and bring it in and use that instead. I'm not sure how much more juice that would pull besides this little box fan I have. Uh, okay, there's a couple of those. I can't remember how many I kind of set up before then. I think I've got at least four more of these little go, guys. Yeah, I know. It's quite, it's quite boring. It's quite boring. But once I get these done and all lined out all nice and pretty, I can uh, start putting in the uh, door handles and the hinges. At least it'll be something different. This is going to be probably the most tedious part of this video or this uh, these streams is doing this. Nice. A lot of work ahead of you, that's for sure, man. But dropping three videos? Nice. I'll make sure I check those out. I want to see what those, uh, how those go. So, uh, brother Brian there, uh, I hope you're planning on, uh, hanging out after we're done with this video, or uh, I'll hit you up after I'm done with this live stream, and, uh, do our normal hangout, and, uh, shoot the shit, and, Figure out what we're doing Friday. I wonder if I should play some music 
it's not like I'm talking that much guys uh, I really wish I had gotten my music flow for free stuff um, set but just been busy or been sleeping because I just beat after work uh, let's see let's see uh, excuse me what can I do what can I do I guess I just play the same crap I was playing last time I just got to figure out where it's at um, I think that is in my downloads my downloads uh, yep there it bees there it bees So we'll open this up and see if I can't turn down the uh, music so it's not blaring. And hopefully you guys can still hear me. We'll see how that works. Let's go to sound mixer. Let's go to this. Okay. Hey, I think that might just work. Okay. Hey, it's all right, Brian. Do what you got to do. Okay, okay. So get back to the fancy schmancy part of uh, my live stream here. I'm glad you guys show up. I'm hoping eventually the live stream picks up a little bit more with some other people. Uh, I haven't really been promoting it or pushing it in any ways, that's for sure. Just been so busy, I haven't had the time to really try to promote things or push things or whatever else, of course, without paying any money, because that's just stupid to pay money. Stupid to pay money when you ain't making no money. Okay, I think uh, I had the spacing almost pretty much right on this last time. It's not 100% set yet, but we're getting it there. Okay. Maybe uh, one more cabinet door. Maybe. Let's see if I have another one floating around that's the right size. I think I do. Nope, that one's too small. Might not have one, which is fine. I can do that one on another day. Because uh, right now I just, I got a mess. I haven't even had the chance to even finish cleaning up. Oh, there it is. Cleaning up my mess from uh, last time. I'm just a messy, messy man. Of these going let's move these just bam 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 get out get out of my way move get out of my way Good, because I wasn't planning on going any higher with the music, I'll tell you that. I just kind of want that background noise just a little bit. Just so if uh, I'm not around or I get quiet, at least you guys got something to listen to. So I want to let you guys know, I don't know if Brian's still around or not, but I want to let you guys know I do appreciate you guys watching what I'm doing here. I may, I, may, I, I guess you could be watching uh, Paint Dry instead if you really wanted to, but uh, I'm glad you guys are stopping by and watching it and checking it out. I can't wait until I get into some more interesting things so I'm not repeating myself over and over again. But uh, it is it is definitely helping out the channel grow. Uh starting to get back to where I was slowly but surely getting there
Okay, one more door done, one more to do, and then uh, I can start working on uh, the edges of it, and then we can do the tacks and all that, and then I figure out what the hell I'm going to do after that. Oh yeah, i got to build that club if possible. See if that is going to be something that's going to be possible or not to do. Okay, those are done. Now just some easy, simple added lines. I don't know if I want to go that way with that or not, but I probably should. Okay, one done. Yes, simple but easy. Not like anybody's really going to see the sides of these, anyways, unless you're looking at a certain angle. Most of this is going to just be hidden. I just dropped one of those. I sure did. Where's the other guy? There it is. Ah. Okay, that's... Two of them done, right? One, two, two of them. I don't even know anymore. Good. It's good. So, uh, Friday and Saturday, there's possibility of rain up here in New York, in Central New York. So, uh, I may or may not do some more live streams depending on where I get with everything. So, I might do this again this weekend. Uh, I don't know if it'll be earlier or if it'll be the same time. Uh, I'm not sure. I know uh, if you guys can't make it, that's all. That's all. That's fine with me. If, you know, I understand everybody's got things to do. But yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna probably do some more on Friday or Saturday, depending on the weather. There are a lot of stuff I have to do Friday and Saturday, so hopefully I can get to what I want to get to. But no guarantees on that. I almost didn't think I was gonna make this today. Even after I said, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Man, I'll tell you one thing. Doing this wood stuff is freaking tedious. Can't wait until I'm done with it. 
the funny thing is I still got to do the bar part and then I got to do other walls and I think I'm going to do some of the walls a little bit different than I did this one because this one looks more like the way it was boarded up it should have been a floor than than more of a wall I think I should have done the pieces bigger but I don't know for some reason I was thinking uh, thin pieces of wood I don't know why but that's what I was thinking so I think if I do any of the other walls I will definitely be doing them uh, differently I still may add some detail or some posts or something in these I'm not sure just to give it something else to make it pop just a little bit but we'll see where it goes Hey, look, I got four people here. Four people. Hey, man, what's up, Jurassic? I see you made it. Guess what I'm doing? Wood carving still. Yay, because it's so much fun. Eventually, I'll get this all done. Someday. So what have you been up to? Uh, we'll just call you JC for short. Unless you'd rather call me, oh, you're playing Fortnite with the friends and, and two idiots, huh? <laughs> uh, Fortnite. Uh. One game I played, it was interesting, but I just didn't like building buildings or building structures to keep your butt alive. I mean, it was an interesting concept, but just uh, wasn't for me. My nephews like to play it when they come over once in a while. If I let them. They're always wanting to play Call of Duty instead. But I can't even get that installed on my PlayStation now because I don't have enough memory because I got too much crap on there. And I don't want to uninstall anything yet because I've got games on there I haven't finished playing yet. And don't ask me about the music. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Just something I downloaded off YouTube Studios. Music Studio or something. Okay, those are finally done. I think that's every single piece. I don't think I missed any. No, oh, that's scrap. Uh, so now it's time for gluing and spacing. And then we can start clipping some wire nails.
Cool. Seven figures, huh? That's a lot. So I'm just here, just glue and glue and glue and glue and what? Just glue and glue and glue and what? And then I gotta add some extra detail. Yay! Well, at least I got three of you guys here. I had it up to four. I don't know who was here and who said bye bye. Guess I wasn't that entertaining to be watching. It's okay. Actually, I never shared my video with uh, anybody to come watch and see. Which I could have done. I just never got that far. Uh, so many cabinet doors, so many, so many. Hey, it's gone up a degree in here. It's 97 degrees in the shed today. Yay, this fan is kicking some butt and it's helping heat it up. It was 101 in here earlier today. I would open the door. But I think it's going to give off too much uh, too much light, and then you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. I mean, I could give it a try and see what it what it looks like, and you guys can yell at me and tell me, hey, man, back off or whatever. So let me try that. Maybe that'll help cool it off in here. It is cooler outside than it is in here. Eh, that ain't bad. You guys can see just fine. I can see just fine. We can all see just fine. Okay, okay, I guess uh, I'm short a door. I don't know how the hell that happened, but I'm short a door. Unless it fell somewhere and I can't find it. Which means I'll just have to make another one later, but I'm going to bypass that. I'm just going to keep drinking my cold beer before I get warm beer. <clears throat> I probably should be drinking water instead, but hey, here I am. Drinking warm, you're so much warm beer. Okay, okay, so what I did last time, guys, is I just took, I'll actually show you the package too. I actually just took some wire nails. I got these from Walmart, found them in the hardware department, I think is where they were. Um, and, uh, that's it, nothing special. And then uh, I just took a pair of uh, wire cutters, or snips, which now I gotta find out where the heck I put it. The one I was using. Because I misplaced it because everything in here is a mess. Uh, I don't wanna use my good pair. That's for wires, not for metal. Jesus Murphy, you can tell me I misplaced it now. Oh, there it is. Found it. It ain't the greatest one either. It's kind of getting worn out, but of course when you're clipping nails, that's what happens. So basically, guys, all I do is take my wire cutter here, or my cutter here, and I just cut that head off, then cut the tip off. And then I just hold this bad boy in place. Try to center it the best I can. Try to keep the pieces from flying everywhere. And you get some de decent little sheer little pins. That one's a little bigger than that one, giggity. But uh, that's okay. I can just shorten one of them. Hopefully it won't be that noticeable. And then I like to take some glue. And... Put it somewhere so I can use a stick to dab it where I need to go. So let me put a dab of glue somewhere. 
Yes, and I like to use Eileen's tacky glue because it holds better than regular glue. It, or glue, yeah, glue. It is a bit stronger. And I take just a tiny little stick. This is, geez, uh, I got these at Walmart. Um, I want to say they're like, forgot what they named. They're just really, really skinny sticks. Um, I think they call them skinny sticks too. They're probably an eighth of an inch or less uh, in width. Yeah, good one, Drew. Just dab that glue somewhere else. There we go. So I just put some glue there. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing there. I'll bring it over just a bit. Just try to get some glue in there. And then I take one of those little metal pieces and I drop it in there and then I find my fancy dancy crafting tweezles tweezles yeah tweezles my crafting tw tw <laughs> I can't even speak today my crafting uh, tools here my little tweezers yeah I'm sure somebody like Brian's gonna give a smart ass remark to that or somebody's thinking it but this works perfect to put these in the place you need to and then it's a little too much glue for some of that so hopefully it dries and it's not that noticeable the other ones aren't um, and then that's it for the hinges and then for the handles I just basically find a spot I think is about right and I just uh, poke it through so far and leave a little bit sticking out and there you go a handle bam simple simple easy peasy so i'm going to go ahead and push the rest of these bad boys in Trying to make them the same height and placement of the other ones, just trying to eyeball it. I know I'm not perfect at it, but from far, you know, at a quick glance, you can't really tell. I'm not going to sit there and like draw a line through the whole thing and be like, oh, look, 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 you missed it. But this also helps hold these in place, so in case for some reason they come undone, which they shouldn't. But, hey man, they ain't going anywhere now. Not with these nails stuck in them. Yes, I know, they can't even open the cabinets to get inside to get to what they gotta get to, right? Hopefully I don't have to show a, a scene where it looks like he's trying to open up a cabinet, because then I'm uh, pretty much a uh, SOL, huh? So once again guys, simple, simple, simple. Just take that nail head, gone. Take the tip, gone. And try to center that the best you can, which once again, I'm off. So just clip a little bit more off. Yeah, I'm gonna have metal shrap shrapnel everywhere but it's okay it's all good it's all good in the neighborhood and add some more glue to it before this glue dries out this tacky glue is already getting dry because of the heat in here it's already starting to get a film lucky i just dabbed it on the uh, edge of the table drop it in there drop it in there get my handy dandy tweezers
pop them in place, get another nail, and rinse and repeat. Now I know I got more nails because the wife just brought me a whole bunch of them. I mean, you think I can figure out where the heck I put them already? They should be right in front of my face, honestly, guys. Oh, I don't know what I did with them already. Jesus, 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 please. Oh, well, I think, yeah, there's a bag of them. Found them. So basically, you guys can't find that brand. Actually, you know what? This is the same darn brand. It's just the logo's changed. I don't even know if they look like that anymore. What do they look like? But they're basically wire nails. That's it. They're just uh, one-inch wire nails. That's it. 17 gauge. Nothing fancy. Basically stuff you would probably hang up picture frames with or whatever else if you're just using nails. Funny thing is that instead of those metal clippers or uh, these wire clippers here, these are probably quite old. I don't think I bought that pair. I could be wrong. I mean, it could have been my father's pair from back in the day, for all I know. Which means they've lasted a long time and haven't been uh, beaten up like I'm doing right now. But hey, look, I'm beating them up now. That's what I do. So I beat things up. Don't take that out of content, people. Tweezers. And I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, probably not, but my neighbor's out there uh, getting his sawmill going, so uh, he's out there doing his thing. The only problem about me putting these hinges on now is eventually I'm going to have to paint this and they're going to get painted black and then painted brown or light brown or whatever else and then I probably have to go in there and touch them up and give them like a metal look maybe but hey that's all part of crafting. Now, I will not be showing you guys any of the painting uh, schemes or painting things I do. Uh, I find that to be uh, kind of boring, in, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I guess it's as boring as drawing lines, or squiggly lines in, in foam, I guess. But uh, if you guys want to actually see that, I guess I could do that. Just, it's not my... Oh, shit, there goes a piece of metal. Um... It's not my uh, cup of tea there. And it's like basically, okay, I put it all on black. Guess what? Or painted it all black. Guess what? Now we got to wait for the dry. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
Okay. Let's see, you got one nail piece there. Okay. Okay, it was off by a little bit. Okay, so we get four more pieces for now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I think after this, guys, I'm gonna run inside real quick. Uh, see if I well, I already know I'm gonna get myself another cold beer because this one I'm sure by now is fucking piss warm. And then uh, possibly see if I can't find some of the hooks. Well, I don't know if I'll do that because that might take me too long. I know I have some, but maybe I can, well, you know what? In a way, I was going to show you guys how I am going to make this club that I need to make. Uh, I was going to use my Dremel, which means I got to go get that, which means basically I got to go in the shed and find stuff. So, uh, I might disappear for you guys, on you guys for a few minutes. I'm sure you guys won't mind. I'm sure you guys are doing whatever you can to keep yourself entertained while you let me play my video and you guys stream it. Uh, if you're watching, that's cool. If you just got it playing while you're doing something, something else, that's cool. You know, it just kind of it can get can get boring just watching somebody do something if you're not doing anything either, you know. Really? So 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 campaign you want me to paint? Really? I hate painting. I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah, man, I, I don't know, I just find painting to be so, uh, boring in a way, you know, you, you paint a layer of this, and then you wait for it to dry, what do you do while you wait? Eh, go do something else, well, I guess I could do that, you know, I could do that, and then work on something else while I wait for paint to dry, Ah oh, yeah, yeah, ah oh, yeah, 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 okay, more glue, more glue, the stick is in your mouth, So Terrain, what do you got uh what do you got going on this Sunday? Uh let's say after anytime after two o'clock. I don't think I have any of the nephews baseball games, so if you wanted to try to do like a, a chat through Messenger or Skype or something, uh or whatever, let me know and uh we can shoot the shit and uh uh see which other we what each other is up to and uh if we can help collaborate with each other or something like that okay that is all done for now so let me see if i can find a good piece of scrap so you know this piece would do good here. Let's cut this down to a better size. Okay, so I think I'll take this piece of foam. I'm gonna go get my Dremel. This crap's gonna be all over the place. I know I should probably be mirror wearing a mask. Um, uh, and uh, Dremel this down to, maybe I'll just carve most of it and then Dremel down some of it uh, to a nice fine looking club. 
So uh, give me a minute. Uh, I'll uh, have uh, the rogue here entertain you, I guess, if I can. Let's see, where the hell is he? Where's the rogue? There he is. Okay, let's see. Okay, Rogue, do me a favor, entertain these people while I'm gone. Well, I hope you kept them entertained, bro, because if not, I lost all my viewers. I hope you did a good job. Okay, now I got my Dremel in here. I should have grabbed the cold beer. I didn't do that either. Damn me. Damn, bad me. Okay, so what am I unplugging here? Where you don't have the lights on yet. So I guess I could unplug the lights because the lights aren't on. Let's plug the Dremel in and see how much power this bad boy is going to kill. Let's see. It's the only way to find out. Okay. Okay, okay. Gonna have to use that sparingly, sparingly, sparingly. So I'll try to entertain you guys with uh, me carving this and not cutting my fingers. Not even sure how big I need to make this club. I'm thinking uh, same size I did for the gentleman's uh, sword there, for the, the warrior's sword. So something probably about yay big for the club maybe. Maybe a little bit smaller. So that's to be about right when I'm done cutting it up. So let's pray that I don't cut myself with this very dull blade. Like I said, I did get the Dremel, but I don't want to use that yet until I get this down to 
what I want it to about practically what I want it to look like uh, just because I don't want to be blowing that stuff all over the place and killing my battery even though I still got about an hour ago before I call it quits on this if I don't call it quits before that and knowing my luck I am not going with the grain on this foam and that's why it's being such a pain in the rear right now yeah, I feel like I'm going against it and not with it. <laughs> yes, five and a half at wait, 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 what, what are you talking about here? Hey, cameraman down there. Yeah, pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was quite funny. I thought it was funny, too. That's why I put it in there. Yeah, okay. Now, yeah, I got you. From Ansville. Yes. Yes. Five and a half hour drive. Yes. Too far away. Too far away. Okay, Jeff, gonna have to watch that later. Not in the right now, I'm in the middle of stuff. All I think what I'm looking at is right now is BAM! 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 bam. I definitely got to get myself a small uh, dry wet back in here so I can clean this crap up a lot easier because this stuff, this is going to be all over, all over the place man, all over the place. Yabba dabba do time, yabba do time, you'll have a gay old time. Well, we need to go a lot smaller with that, and this is taking a while. It ain't working out the way I wanted to do, be like I wanted to do. It ain't what it used to be. It ain't what it used to be. So, I'm going to go put my mask on, wherever it is, where it be. I want to breathe in all this crap. Because it's harmful to you. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> how, the, how the hell did you manage to do that, boss? Oh, my God. What the hell did I do? Okay. I got it. I got it. Somehow I got my glasses stuck in the rubber band strap of this mask. Yeah, I ain't the brightest crayon in the box, okay? Okay. I'm gonna give this a try, guys. Here we go. Let's make a mess.
Funny thing is, I gotta make this a lot thinner than this, so just trying to do it a little at a time.
come out pretty good, right? We still got a lot more to go. I got to make it almost. See the handle. The only problem is the handle's got to be thin enough for this dude here. This dude, because I think I'm going to use this body form for the bartender that I'm going to make. And he's basically going to have to hold this if he needs to. And that means I'm going to have to make that handle a lot thinner. A lot thinner. Unless I decide to make it look like he's trying to swing it with two hands. I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can tell, it is going to have to go a lot thinner. Sorry guys, I'm just reading some of the uh, stuff you guys wrote. Yeah, right, campaign train. I, I doubt you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sticking to it, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you know, the fun stuff there, huh? Oh, I just put a chunk out of that shit. Gotta do this gently. Put too much pressure on it, you gotta eat right through it. Hopefully you guys are seeing this okay. I'm not looking at my camera because I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. So I'm trying to keep it in camera view for you guys. Where's the big man? Where's the big man? Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go extremely thin with that. And I really didn't want to. I have a feeling if this breaks, what I'll have to do is uh, put some, uh, put a piece of wood in there with uh, maybe a nail or something and then use some kind of putty to fill it in and then kind of sand it out and make it blend in. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm ever going to see this guy swing this thing, so it's probably just better it's up there as a prop than anything else, but let's uh, thin the rest of this club out a little bit more, and then uh, I think we'll just call it done.
So I don't know what you guys think. Smaller than the sword. Not by much. Shit. As I drop it. That's a lot lighter than the sword. I might have to put some weight in that bad boy. But uh, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. So, sword, club. Uh, I don't know if I want to make the club any smaller. I'm going to put some, uh, I think I'm going to put some wood grain in it, make it look like a big old chunk of tree, because that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, let's say, where'd you put your marker? Where'd you put your marker? Let's get this mask off your face first. Uh, woo! Open up this door, he's in the air in here. Woo! As I breathe in all the dirty, tiny little particles now. Where the hell did I put that marker? Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. It's right here, guys. I got right here in my face. Let's put a little nice little knot, like right there. Come on, start writing. I hate it when it starts right out on me. There we go. I have to buy some more of these. So let's put that knot right in there. That looks more like an eyeball than a knot right now, huh? Probably should have just left it the way it was and just painted it. I'll be painting it brown anyways. And it's got a little fine lines in it right now with uh, the sander. I might put some more fine lines in it with the wire brush. Hopefully you guys are seeing this okay. Do you see procrastination creeping up behind me? I mean, he is right over there. Behind, he is literally behind me right now. You guys can probably see him too, right? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me you can see him? <laughs> yeah, right now he's got a broken foot. <laughs> His foot keeps coming unglued on me, damn it. I know, I gotta get this room, uh, this shed organized a little better again, get it all cleaned up. Every time I get it cleaned up, I just make a mess out of it again. But, uh, I gotta get that stool in here, too. I keep telling myself I'm gonna get that stool in here. And I know where it's at. It's right out in, in, near the kitchen. Yeah, I think that's good enough. It's going to get painted. Most of those black marks you guys probably won't even see. Uh, where did the cat go? I think I'm going to put some fine uh, wood grain detail in this. Oh yeah, that makes that look so much better. I know you guys probably won't be able to tell. Yeah, I can already see where that handle is very, very delicate. Now, if I'm correct, he's got some rope tied around it. Might be on the handle, so I might take some uh, hemp wood that I or hemp wood, hemp cloth I have, and uh, 
tie that around there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. There's not much light. Can't really see the detail too well, but I think that's it. I think my little club's done, and then I just got to get some hooks for it and hang it up. The only problem with that is uh, I got to find them, and I know I have them. I just got to find them. And I am one guy that'll have something in one place and then have it somewhere else later on. So I'm just going to clean up my mess here, guys. Definitely going to invest in a small shop back, I think. Wish I could find one that's battery operated so I wouldn't have to use my battery pack to uh, run it. So I think uh, I'm going to get the little hang the hooks or whatever else and then I will hang that like that. So you guys can see that. So I'll probably just hang that like right there. And then I'll put some more cabinets over here, and I'll put another wall. I'll probably do that Friday or Saturday. Uh, I really don't know what else to do. I know eventually I probably should try to build or make some uh, uh, mugs and stuff like that. Well, you know what I'm going to do real quick, guys? I'm going to go look for those hooks again real quick. Um... I'm going to let this guy over here today uh, entertain you. Maybe he'll give you some, uh, I don't know, some dance moves or something. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe he'll do some dance moves. Maybe he'll, uh, uh, like, I don't know, keep it, like, staying alive or something. I don't know. I don't think he's going to stand up for me while I walk away. You guys don't want to be looking at junk, though, I'm sure. So I'll try to fix that. I shall be right back, guys. Nothing. I don't think he did anything either, right? Damn, these guys are getting lazy. Work for your money. I work hard for my money. So hard for my money. <laughs> I did find my hooks, guys, which is a plus. Oh, that cold beer is going down nice. I did find my hooks. I think they might be a little small, but I'm going to try to stretch them out a bit.
Okay. This is going to be the hard part, and I think it's about that time. It's about that time. Gotta plug my light back in. Is this the light? This is the light. Uh, I think. Tell you in a minute. Nope, that ain't the light. The hell is that? What do you go to? Okay, you keep running and you keep. Oh, you go to that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need your ass right now. Okay, Mr. Light, Light, Light. Where's your plug, plug, plug? There it is. It is, it is. And then Quasi said, let there be light. And then there was. Okay, where is my other thingamajiggy? I don't know. There it is. Okay, I'm trying to take these, because they're definitely just hooks or eye hooks, basically. And uh, what I want to do is open them up. Try to get that hook to unbend. There we go. There we go. That's even better. Okay. That should hold the handle, no problem. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if I make that big enough, I might have one. I might have be able to get the other one big enough to hold the headpiece of it. If not, then uh, I'll have to see if I have any other small hooks like this that are just a little bit bigger. But I didn't really want to throw the appearance of it being too big off. Yeah, I kind of bent the hell out of that. But that might just do. That might just do. It ain't pretty. That ain't pretty. But it might just do. Oh yeah. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Like I said, it ain't pretty, but it'll do the job, pig. There we go. Man, I really gotta fix that hook, though. Eh, maybe not. Who knows? Who cares? It works. I'm not gonna glue it in place. I'm gonna let it sit there, so when it's on the wall, it looks like it's hanging. Right now, it looks like it's just sitting. But that's it, man. I gotta clean up in here. I really do. Okay, guys, so I'm going to move the camera for a bit. I'm gonna to try to clean up my area here just a little bit so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna look like standing up instead of looking down at it all the time. I'm gonna clean up some of my mess here. This hook should have been in here in the first place anyways, but I think they were in the other place because... Oops, I don't know what I can do. So, I'm thinking that's looking pretty damn good. I'm hoping it looks good from what... Um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think so. Straighten that out. I don't know. The camera looks like it's comes off a bit. Maybe it's just the camera itself. So, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. As I stick my hand in the glue that I put down earlier. That's gross. 
And then I will build in some more cabinets off to the side here. I'm going to add another wall section here because I need it. Uh, especially if I'm going to have uh, these guys standing around here. I think like I said, I'm going to use this body or form for the bartender. I'll make some stools. Okay, and if I did not cut it up, which knowing my dumbass, I did, I will have to make a new bench <laughs> and a new, uh, actually I think we use, ah! something. No. We'll use the piece. Yeah, it's say about the same height as this. A little bit bigger than that, of course. Um, and then we had a decent sized bar stool, or bar counter. I think that was this piece right here that I'm trying to dig out without breaking it. As everything falls over. Like I said, I gotta clean my mess, I gotta clean it. And this will go here. Of course the bar will, will counter thing will be bigger. We will have I think this kind of goes would go out here like this. I'd have to look at the diagram again. Uh and of course the camera would be at a whole different angle, so you guys would not see up here. It would be a closer view of just this. Uh, the only problem is if I need to see what the uh, characters' expressions or what they look like when the bartender's talking to them, I am going to have to take the wall out and then have the camera behind the bartender to do that, which is not a problem. So it'll look something like that. Of course, this is not the camera I will be using, gentlemen. But you know, you get you get the uh, you get the picture. So I think I might have used some pieces that I wasn't supposed to use because uh, somebody doesn't put things away that he shouldn't be using. But I could have them still because. I've got some scrap pieces sitting over here. I don't think this was it. Could have been. It's about the right height. And I think this might have been it instead. Then I can have the full, full potential. And then we will do the bar. And that will go there. And then I gotta make. Oh, I I, I might do a video sculpting the bar uh, bartender uh, because I want what I want to do too is I want to I'm gonna make a mold of this figure and a mold of the regular Mati bots. I'm gonna make separate pieces of them and do uh, mold and resin castings of them so I don't have to spend the. Um, what fourteen dollars or whatever it is to get three more figures um yeah the resin and the other stuff's gonna cost me like 60 bucks but at least i can make as many of them as i need to because the pieces are so small i can make a lot of them out of the resin once i make the molds and then this i'll do the same thing but what i'll have to do is uh where there's creases in here because these pieces are you know two separate pieces i will have to uh actually glue these to those pieces uh, permanently so uh, the the uh, the uh, um, silicone when I'm pouring it in to make the mold won't go into any of the creases so I'll have to make those solid pieces which is fine with me because uh, like I said if I can make duplicates of these guys uh, then uh... okay bartender you're not drunk I swear you haven't had anything to drink yet, I know. But, uh, like I'm saying, I'll make molds of those. 
and then I won't have to go spend what 15 20 bucks to get three figures or what it was like what 20 30 dollars just for that figure I don't know what it was I know it was expensive I know it was up there um, I've got to make a whole bunch of figures and I definitely need to get uh, the what they call the Mikey uh, the Mikey bot uh, waiting for them I got to get a hold of the gentleman again and see if they finally got the model set because I want to order a bunch of those little guys that's the one that I made the rogue out of uh, because I want to uh, ah, it's like fell off and I hope they make them better because these ones were made 3d printed and they're kind of rough uh, you could tell when I was when uh, I was putting it together that it's definitely 3D printed. Okay, bartender, don't drink too much. I know nothing's official, so maybe I should put you back here. And uh, make some more of the, or then I can use the small figures to make stuff like uh, kobolds and little goblins and little monsters and stuff like that. Uh, I have a whole plan of making a whole bunch of stuff. I just haven't uh, gotten around to it. I'm hoping to get to it eventually. I'm now that the video, the the channel's doing better, and I got better internet, and the live stream's going good, uh, and I've got people that actually like my stuff. Uh, it might motivate me to actually do more and not be so uh, such a procrastinator. Okay, bartender. I think you've had enough. I know I gotta get some Magnus in your feet too. Okay, the bar's just fall everything's just falling over. I think I'm pretty much done for the night, guys. I think uh, I've done enough. It's been a long day. And like I said, uh, you guys may see me tomorrow. And you may see me Saturday. It all depends on what the weather is, if it's uh, rainy or not. And you might see me even if it's not rainy. Um, about the same time, maybe between 6 and 8 if it cools off. Uh, it could be later in the day, if that's not a problem with any of you guys. Um, can't really make a promise to what time it's going to be. Actually, you know, it won't be later tomorrow. Because at about 8, 9 o'clock... Uh, I'm playing video games, so got to play me some, hopefully can play some Borderlands. I couldn't play Borderlands last week, so somebody I knew fell asleep. I wonder who that could be. If he's even still here in the room or not. Hmm. Yes, that would be cool, Jurassic, but I don't have any uh, fans that actually made anything, if that's what you mean. You should, you should do a video where you show your fans work, like figures and other stuff they made. I think that would be cool. Well, I'm definitely going to be plugging other people's channels, and since you guys are the only three that uh, Watch me more than anybody else. I will definitely be plugging your channel. I do like what you guys do. I have seen what you have made. Um, and you guys just got to keep it going. Same thing here. Uh. So guys, uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. Cut it a little short. Not by much, but a little short. And uh, I'm going to call it a night and say I'm done for now. And... Uh, like I said, maybe I'll see you guys this weekend. So you guys take care. And keep doing what you guys are doing. Keep crafting. Keep making what you love making. And enjoy it.
So, peace out, guys. I'm calling it. Yeah, I'll talk to you uh, Sunday, hopefully, train.